I want to demonstrate how to use the advanced filter option. Uh, now, this is a data set that's related to purchase orders, and we have a lot of data related to these uh, supplier. And I have a, another worksheet that um, has the criteria information. So what I want to do is I want to filter my data based off of these, these two suppliers and then focusing on a particular data field. I have, a, I have a, a couple of criteria. So for example, this first supplier, I only want the information related to that supplier where the quantity is greater than 5,000 and the order date is before um, September 1st. And then the second supplier, I want just the information related to that to that supplier where the quantity is less than 5,000 and the order date is before September 1st, based off of all the data that I have here. Um, and instead of me having to go to the data tab and select the data, uh, the, the filter button, I'm going to be selecting the advanced button. So let me just go ahead and click on that there. So when I click on the advanced, I have a dialog box that appears and you have, uh, in terms of action, it says filter the list in place. And you notice that I do have my uh, the data highlighted automatically when I selected the advanced button. And that, that is going to be the data that I want. And I do want to filter the data in place. I don't want to go to a different workbook or a worksheet. So I'm going to leave that radio button as is. And for the, uh, so the list range is the data itself that's highlighted. The criteria is that second worksheet that I have here. So whatever your criteria is, you can make your own criteria. Now you don't have to include uh, any sort of columns that you're not going to be using, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes so you all know exactly that uh, which columns I'm referring to in this data set. So for the criteria range, I, I'm going to be selecting that from a different worksheet within my workbook, within my Excel file. And notice I have the criteria exclamation mark. This is referring to the worksheet that my criteria range is in. And that's, that, that's what I'm currently in right now inside my workbook. I am in the worksheet called criteria. So inside criteria worksheet, I want to select all of this information here. Now again, I could not, I, I don't have to select uh, the information related to order number, item number, et cetera, but this is just, uh, simplifies things by just selecting everything at once. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave everything as is. Uh, I'm gonna press okay. It says reference isn't valid. Okay, so I probably selected something that I, sh I shouldn't have. So let me just, I'll just go ahead and exit out of this and just do it one more time. So I'm going to place my active cell anywhere inside this data, go to advanced, make sure that the data is selected and it is criteria range. I, I place my cursor there and then I'll go to criteria and I will select information here then i'll press ok and notice it automatically goes back to the worksheet where the data is because I, I did say i want it to be reflect in place and this is my filtered data now notice i don't have any of the drop downs next to the to these headers uh, but we do have information that's hidden if you look at the row numbers it goes from 41 to 49 to 90 so you, this is hidden information. This is not information that's deleted. Data has not been deleted. Uh, so you could retrieve these if, if you need to. And so this is pretty much what I was trying to, uh, the data I'm trying to, to grab based off of this criteria that I have here. Um, if you want to go back to the original uh, data, you could uh, just go back to the data tab, go to sort and filter and click clear and you'll go back to its original format All right so uh, I what I demonstrated is uh, having two worksheets and I used uh, I, I was referring to a different worksheet but I could have all of this information that I have here example all in one worksheet instead of having to refer to to various worksheets 
Um, and so it just really just depends on how comfortable you are with Excel. So if I say, for example, I, I would just set my criteria somewhere here towards the bottom and go back and uh, go to advanced, see the data selection. Um, I'm just going to go all the way down just to make sure that it was probably selected, and it is. And in my criteria, I'm placing my cursor on that on the text box there. I can go ahead and go to where my criteria is. And I'll go ahead and press OK. And you'll notice that the subset, the filter data, is right here in front of you. So hopefully it gives you some perspective on the way that you can kind of navigate through Excel when you're trying to do some of the advanced filtering.